Good morning. Welcome to the live stream of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this the Thursday, the 27th of April, 2023. My name is Letty Anderson, and I will be the officiant today. Good morning, Joan. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Pam. Thank you for joining us this morning. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Let us say together, Christ our Passover. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ has being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he lived, that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive in God, to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man also has come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Good morning, Ian, and good morning, Sherry. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Julie and Pete. The psalm appointed for this morning is psalm, a portion of Psalm 37. We will say this in unison. Do not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong, for they shall soon wither like the grass and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on its riches. Take delight in the Lord and he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger. Leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself. It only leads to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while, the wicked shall be no more. You shall, shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord laughs at the wicked because he sees that their day will come. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who are upright in their ways. Their sh sword shall go through their own heart and their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this morning is from the book of Daniel. Then Daniel was brought in before the king. The king said to David, so you are Daniel, one of the exiles of Judah, whom my father the king brought from Judah. I have heard of you, that a spirit of the gods is in you, and that enlightenment, understanding, and excellent wisdom are found in you. Now the wise men, the enchanters, have been brought in before me to read this writing and tell me its interpretations, but they were not able to give the interpretation of the matter. But I have heard that you can give interpretations and solve problems. Now, if you are able to read the writing and tell me its interpretation, you shall be clothed in purple, have a chain of gold around your neck, and rank third in the kingdom. Then Daniel answered in the presence of the king, let your gifts be for yourself or give your rewards to someone else. Nevertheless, I will read the writing to the king and let him know the interpretation. O king, the most high God gave your father Nebuchadnezzar kingship, greatness, glory, and majesty. And because of the greatness that he gave him, all peoples, nations, and languages trembled and learned feared before him. He killed those he wanted to kill kept alive those he wanted to keep alive and honored those he wanted to honor and degraded those he wanted to degrade. But when his heart was lifted up and his spirit was hardened so that he acted proudly, he was deposed from his kingly throne and his glory was stripped from him. He was driven from human society and his mind was made like that of an animal. His dwelling was with the wild asses. He was fed grass like oxen, and his body was bathed with the dew of heaven until he learned that the Most High God has sovereignty over the kingdom of mortals and sets it over, sets over it whomever he will. And you, Belshazzar, his son, have not humbled your heart, even though you knew all this. You have exalted yourself against the Lord of heaven. The vessels of his temple have been brought in before you, and you and your lords, your wives, and your concubines have been drinking wine from them. You have praised the gods of silver and gold, of bronze, iron, wood, and stone, which do not see or hear or know. But the God in whose power your very breath it is your very breath, and to whom belong all your ways you have not honored. So from his presence, the hand was sent, and this writing was inscribed. And this is the writing that was inscribed. Mene, Mene, Tekel, and Parson. This is the interpretation of the matter. Mene, God has numbered the days of your kingdom and brought it to an end. Tekel, you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Paris, your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Then Belshazzar gave a command and Daniel was clothed in purple. A chain of gold was put around his neck and a proclamation was made concerning him that he should rank third in the kingdom. That very night, Belshazzar, the Chaldean king, was killed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. 
The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise him. The God of my people and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our second lesson this morning is from the first letter of John. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the boldness we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the requests made from of him. If you see your brother or sister committing what is not a mortal sin, you will ask, and God will give to such a one. To those who sin is not more to those whose sin is not mortal. There is sin that is mortal. I do say that you should pray about that. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not mortal. We know that those who are born of God do not sin, but those the one who is born of God protects them and the evil does not touch them. We know that we are God's children and that the whole world lies under the power of the evil one. And we know that the son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us now say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern them and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The collect appointed for today is the collect for the third Sunday of Easter. Oh God, whose blessed son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This morning we commemorate um, Christina Rossetti, a poet who died in 1894. And Christina was an English writer of romantic, devotional, and children's poems. And she also wrote the words of the Christmas carols in the bleak midwinter and love came down at Christmas. She was um, the, the daughter of two um, Italians who came to London um, when they were uh, being, um, when they were in political ex exile. So this is who we commemorate this morning. And she was a great poet in England. Oh God, whom heaven cannot hold, you inspired Christina Rossetti to express the mystery of the incarnation through her poems. Help us to follow her example in giving our hearts to Christ, who is love and who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. O oh God, the King eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may when night comes rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly. Grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us to do, that the spirit of wisdom may give us, <clears throat> may save us from all false choices, and that in your light we may see light, and in your straight path we may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion. Remembering today, especially the Dais of Singapore and Southeast Asia, the Right Reverend Dr. Titus Chung Kiam Boon Bishop. We also pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our companion diocese. Remembering today, especially the Diocese of Tully 
Kiara Madagascar, the Right Reverend Dr. Samatiana Johnson Razafindra Lambo Bishop. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Bob and Pam, Doug, Darcy, Barbara, Marie, Brian, Jean, Marilyn, Penny, Peter, Eleanor and family, Jim and Jerry, Bonnie, Charles and Kathy, Donna and Elizabeth. <clears throat> we pray today also for our serve ministries, remembering especially the prayer shawl ministry, that warm blankets may be available to those in need of physical and spiritual warmth, and the nursing home hospital visitors, that members of Good Shepherd ailing due to old age or circumstance may experience God's love through a familiar face. Almighty and ever loving God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth. Hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Kathy asks our prayers for Penny, Katie, Jean, Bonnie, and all those undergoing cancer treatment and thanksgiving for all the caregivers. Thank you, Kathy. And I would like to ask your prayers for my friend Lynn, her daughter, Jen, um, who just found out she has breast cancer, did get good news that it hasn't spread and that she will only have to have a lumpectomy and um, some radiation. So that is good news that she won't have to undergo chemotherapy. And Sherry asks our prayers for all young marrieds. And Joan asks for a smooth and unstressful move for Pam and Bob, who are moving today and tomorrow. So hopefully it all goes well, Pam. We will pray that. Let us say together a general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for joining us this morning. We'll be back tomorrow at 9 and every weekday morning at 9 a.m. So please join us again. And um, thank you for joining in. Have a good week and a good weekend.